Hmm. So let me talk you guys through the last 12 hours. <laughs> I woke up this morning to a brand new piece of information from Mega Construct's Twitter account. They announced that a brand new piece of news was coming soon, a new set or possibly some new figures. So I wanted to make a video. You guys know me, I'm the Mega Constructs news guy, but I had work that day. So I headed off to my center where I teach in Hong Kong. And in my lunch break, I walked along the water, filmed a video and then edited it in like my spare minutes, even racing on this bus ride home. I was editing at the front of the bus because it was max capacity. So I uploaded this video speculating on what this silhouette might have been that Mega Constructs revealed on Twitter. And then just as I was about to release the video, I noticed that Halo Podcast Evolved actually announced the set, which it, it was a pretty crazy experience. Congrats to them, and they did a fantastic job revealing what these figures are. And if you have any spare time, I would recommend more than this video, checking out their speculation and also details on what these figures represent. It's an incredible video. I'm here now to backtread a little bit. <laughs> you can see the, the video that I made earlier. Now I'm gonna make a new video talking about what has actually been announced. So this has been a pretty crazy day. I'm. Uh, gonna, you know, it's, it's about, uh, what, what time is it? 11 p.m. right now? I'm gonna, and, and enjoy it, enjoy this cold beer, no, Coca-Cola off screen. All right, so, let's break it down. Podcast Evolved have announced that in one day's time, tomorrow, you will be able to vote on what figure you want included in Halo Hero Series 16 which is a pretty wonderful thing. The last time we had a vote for a set was Halo Fest 2011, where the fans decided to make the UNSC countdown, and that was just an amazing set. I've thought ever since, at the back of my mind, like, why don't they do that more? But it requires such a massive amount of planning. I mean, we're talking about Halo Hero Series 16, not even 15, and 14 is just hitting shelves right now. So we're thinking about, like, a year's time release, and there are four figures to choose from, okay? About 12 hours ago, Reddit broke down most of the figures in the set. The only one that everybody got wrong was an air assault, which turned out to be a haunted helmet, which, man, for any Halo Reach diehard, that is just the pinnacle of customization in that game. We've got four figures to choose from, and the highest voted figure will be produced in Halo Hero Series 16. That's the stakes right now. Like, that's pretty wild. So, the four figures to choose from right now is the Haunted Helmet from Halo Reach, we've got a Flood Combat Form from Halo 3, a CQB with Sputnik Rocket Launcher, probably they include all the weapons pictured, and a very peculiar, but such a badass choice, a Brute Chieftain that was one of the main leaders from Halo Wars 1. He's called Thrall Slayer. And when Halo Wars 1 originally came out, he was listed as a basic leader, a Brute Chieftain, but then was fleshed out in all extra canon as Thrall Slayer. And if you want to read his backstory on Halopedia, it's a really interesting read. They're the four figures some odd choices and basically what I'm gonna do for the rest of this video is talk about why I would and wouldn't vote for each of these because to clarify in a day's time you will be able to vote on which figure you want Mega Constructs to actually produce so this is a pretty big deal and more details at the end of the video on how you can vote but first let's have a look at the figures ladies and gentlemen I'm gonna start with the figure that I think will be the least popular in this vote and that's the CQB don't get me wrong CQB is one of my favorite armors in Halo 3, but let's be honest, it's not the standout in this set. The other three, there are so many pros to those figures, but this CQB is just a CQB. I would love to see a new articulation version of this Halo 3 armor. Halo 3 armors are always my favorite iterations, but you know, it, it's not the one that's gonna bring everyone home. I know so many people that would vote for Flood, Chieftains, or a Haunted Helmet far more than a CQB. So while it is a cool figure, I'm putting you at the bottom of the list, my friend. New articulation CQB is on the agenda. 
And we also have to weigh up how likely Mega Constructs are to make these figures in the future. Flood absolutely 1000%. But a CQB, maybe if we don't vote for it, we're not going to see it for a long time. So it's going to be at the bottom of the list, but I also want to see that CQB. It, it looks pretty good. The second one, which is also kind of third place on my list, is the Flood Combat Form. And I know what you're thinking, Simon. Flood is one of your favorite things. Yes, I know. But this is a very basic Flood Combat Form. The Flood have returned in Halo Wars 2. I see it as almost guaranteed that they'll be in Halo Infinite, even if they're in DLC. So it's going to happen soon. In Halo Podcast Evolves video, G Customs Creations, like he's one of the best customers to makers on this earth of Halo Mega Constructs figures, and he wants the Flood, that's his number one because he wants to make Flood customs. But the Flood are just so popular, and this is a basic blue combat form. It's not like some of these, like the Haunted Helm and that Brute Chieftain, we're only gonna see them once. This Flood, I could see them not making it in Halo Hero Series 16, but then pretty soon after that. The only thing is, in Halo Heroes, you get a better, more detailed version of a figure. So if you are someone that really wants the most highly detailed Flood possible, maybe you should vote for that. The second one on my list, and this was a hard one, I think that I want the Haunted Helmet making, but not as much as Thrall Slayer. And it is difficult because this Haunted Helmet, if it's not made right now, it might never be made. You've got to think that if all of these figures are on Mega Construct mind, they might make them again, but then if they do make them pretty soon after, it kind of nullifies the point of this vote. So anything that doesn't get through right now might be delayed even by a couple of years from being produced because they don't want to make it feel like it was a pointless thing. So this Haunted Helmet, I really do want to see it, but I don't know. It is just the helmet. It's not the most important thing to me. What I care about more is like factions of banished, factions of Covenant that I can really build an army with. And it's interesting because if you watch one of my latest videos, I unboxed a Flood Infected Emil. It was made by Bam Bam Productions and he actually got a skull from like Lego or Mega Bloks. He hollowed out an EVA and then he punched that inside to make a Flood Infected Emil. And I definitely think that Mega Constructs could do go down that route. It's just not as important as that Thrall Slayer, and I'll get on to him now. I've been reading his bio recently, the last 12 hours, and he is just such a badass of a character. He participated in the Battle of Harvest, and he was disposed of by the Arbiter, sent away from the events of Halo Wars 1 because the Arbiter didn't want him stealing his glory, and then the Arbiter ended up dying anyway, so the Brute lived on. I think he's such an amazing character, and let's be honest, he is the one on this list of four that we will never see again. Like, he's such a random exclusive figure. He leads into very exclusive, very unique molds that Mega Constructs might make. So my vote today, ladies and gentlemen, is for the Brute. My monkey boy, anyone that's a fan of my channel now, I'm saying it should not be surprised that I vote for the monkey. Monkeys for life. It's a very good looking monkey. I'll put it that way. You know, this is just, I hope, the very start of the road for Mega Constructs really just respecting the fans and engaging in this community outreach. It was so great to see everybody dissecting the silhouettes of the images to begin with, and now everybody deciding which to vote for is also just so cool. So cool. My picks, bottom of the list CQB, would love to see a new articulation figure, but not the top of my priority. Flood, I just really want new articulation flood, but I know it'll be coming soon anyway. The Haunted Helm, a very exclusive helmet, which we'll never see again. It might tie with Thrall Slayer, but Thrall Slayer might also include a new mold hammer as well, which I'm all about. So I think the monkey takes the cake for me. The monkey takes the cake. That is a weird sentence. <laughs> My friends and family, voting will begin tomorrow, July 28th, and will close on August 8th. At that moment, you will know which figure is being included in Halo Heroes Series 16. What a beautiful time. You can vote once per day, and the link will be coming tomorrow on how exactly you can vote. I'll be sharing a lot more on my Twitter as well, Motion Domain. Just a big thanks to Mega Constructs for keying in the community like this, and a huge 
thanks to Podcast Evolve for doing a bang up job premiering this and doing all the speculation before this video. It has been a wild ride the last 12 hours, but such, such fun. Like, I love this community with all my heart. So thank you very much for tuning in today, everybody. Let me know in the comments down below which figure you will be voting for. I'll be running a poll tomorrow to ask you as well. You stay awesome. You stay safe out there. Vote Thrall Slayer. The domain is signing off.